Hey there, it's Marie-Pierre, librarian at the Goethe Institute Montreal. Today, I'd like to tell you about An Inventory of Losses by Judith Chalansky. Not quite a collection of short stories, walking the line between fiction and essay, the 12 chapters inside this book are oriented around 12 of the world's losses. The Caspian Tiger, fragments of Sappho's poetry, a villa, a harbor, each is told using a different writing style. Some bring us inside the narrator's psyche, others have a more contemplative tone. From the publisher, an inventory of losses is a beautiful evocation of 12 specific treasures that have been lost to the world forever, and taken as a whole, opens mesmerizing new vistas of how we can think about extinction and loss. These are themes that run through Shalansky's work. Her 2010 Atlas of Remote Islands being about abandoned or otherwise isolated islands scattered across the world's oceans. The Giraffe's Neck, which is also available in the Onlaya, being about a teacher from Eastern Germany whose world and beliefs are falling apart after the reunification of Germany and the disappearance, in a way, of her country. A loss Schalansky also experienced, being born and raised in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern in the 1980s and which continues to influence her work. Not only a writer, Shalansky studied as an art historian and trained as a graphic designer, in addition to being a typographer. She brings this unusual skill set to her works and is involved in every step, from the research to the illustrations, which she does herself in beautiful black on black in the case of an inventory of losses, also beautifully rendered in the ebook version, to the book design, paper choice, and printing. This approach has brought her a lot of success, her books being consistently reprinted, along with being the recipient of several prizes and design awards. In Germany, it placed fourth in Stiftung Buchkunst, the most beautiful German books competition in 2019. An Inventory of Losses is Schalansky's fourth book to be published in English translation. It's a read that I find hard to summarize, but would say is definitely worth diving into. In the preface, Shalansky's reflections dig deeper into the equal importance of forgetting and remembering, and she reminds us that being alive means experiencing loss. This inventory might help us cope with our own individual losses. You can borrow this novel in the Onlaya, our virtual library, available throughout North America in its original German version under the title Verzeichnis einiger Verluste and in English translation. What about you? Do you have any other German novels in translation to recommend? Let us know in the comments below. And until our next video, happy reading!